Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Raina Daily. We are going to be doing a homeschool haul. If you're new here, my name is Raina Daily. I make videos for parents on how navigating childhood, parenting, all the crazy things in these modern times. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing an Amazon homeschool haul with you guys. I know it's a little early, we're on summer, summer break, but I needed a couple things. So we went ahead and purchased those and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I bought. Nothing of course is sponsored in this video. These are just things that I thought would benefit our homeschool room. And again, things that we needed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. Hope you like the video. All right, so first thing I got were these huge zipper pouches. And you may be wondering what in the world is this for? Well, we have a um, bunch of board games, which we love board games, but the boxes take up so much room and we don't have a lot of space. So I bought these and I'm gonna put the board games in here. Hopefully it clears up some space, makes it easier to store. I will insert some footage for you guys. Um, hopefully this works out for us. I'm excited. I really do hope it works because the board, like I said, the board games take up a lot of space and we don't have a lot of space in our house for like dedicated to our homeschooling stuff. So hopefully this will be a nice little tool to add to that. Next thing is not so fun, but I needed a taping, a taping. I needed a tape dispenser um, for the homeschool room. It's pretty basic, just your typical scotch tape dispenser and black, nothing fancy, nothing crazy cool. But again, we needed this. Kids love tape, which isn't great <laughs> for me when I actually need it. Next up, I got this watercolor kit. Um, really excited for this. My oldest daughter is, and my middle child are really into painting, and my younger child, all three of my kids are into painting. Um, but I thought this would be neat. It's smaller than I anticipated. Um, let's just open it up. So it comes with the paint brushes, the watercolor sheets, which this is really small. This is only 12 sheets. Kind of think I might've got ripped off a little bit. And then the watercolors, um, they're non-toxic. So that's great. <laughs> this is the main reason I bought this. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to buy some new sheets of paper because this is not gonna cut it. And we will see how the girls do with this. I probably will get another one of these um just so they're not fighting over it but yeah we want to do some more painting in this house next up is kind of boring but it is a box of play-doh kids have been loving play-doh later <laughs> the kids have been loving play-doh lately i did not bring a box opener and honestly do you guys really need to see what play-doh looks like because i'm i'm not feeling like i should be getting up to get a box opener. Maybe I just ripped the box. Um, but it came with, how many of these did it come with? It came with a lot <laughs> of Play-Doh. But yeah, my kids have been loving Play-Doh lately and it's been a great tool for me to get stuff done around the house by just giving them Play-Doh and letting them make a complete mess everywhere. So I have destroyed this box just because I was stubborn and didn't want to get up. But <laughs> you guys come here for the hauls, right? These are the um, Play-Dohs that it came with. All of that to show you Play-Doh. I do know these things for you guys. Um, next up, next up is not as exciting either. Um, you get to watch me open a very fun, why do they wrap it like this? I really wonder, I really wonder. And guys, I've started going down the rabbit hole of all these big corporations. I already had, but I've started going down more deeper into the rabbit hole of some of these corporations and the agendas behind them is just wild. As much as I love Amazon, there's some stuff going on there too. really aggressive okay <laughs> all of that chaos to show you this little box of little boxes 
these little tiny boxes are gonna be the new house for our clay. Um, I bought it last year, if you watched my old Target haul, I believe, I bought some clay, modeling clay for kids and we never used it. So I bought these so that I have easier access to them and I'm gonna keep it, don't know if this is a bad idea, in the Play-Doh box. So we'll see how that works out and I will keep you posted. <laughs> Not as fun, but I did get some of these dots so that I can label the prices in our school um, shop. I'm gonna do a video on that for you guys too so y'all can see how we do prizes and all of that fun stuff. So this is just kind of a basic thing. I got more zipper pouches. Now these are portfolios for the kids' artwork. Um, if you have kids, you understand how protective they get over their art and when they see it in the trash can, it can really hurt feelings. So I got them each a portfolio <laughs> to keep their special artwork in. And I will store this in the homeschool room so that they have a special place for their artwork. And then at the end of the year, or maybe each semester, we go through and pick our favorites. But that way it's not as fresh in their mind and that mommy just threw it away stuff I got myself a homeschool planner this year I'm really excited for this one it had really good reviews and I love how laid out it is so that my husband because he does help me with the homeschool he can just come in here and see what we're working on um, I don't have to like tell him hey go to this one this one I can literally just write it in for the week or that day if I need him to finish up with something on them so really excited about this not to mention it's super cute Next up, we are adding in to the curriculum. We've already done it. We do um, Bible memory verses for the month, and I'm gonna kind of slow down. I might do weekly ones now that the kids are getting older, but my two oldest, they each got one of these. And it's very cute, very precious, and they get to color their memory verse for the week, and then we're gonna read it out loud, and we'll read it out of the Bible. But look how precious the sheets are. I'm just really, I thought it was too cute and I thought it would be a great addition to our homeschool versus me having, having to find a memory verse, print it out and then work on that. They're also shorter than the ones that I was working on, the memorizing. So I think for having a second grader and a kindergartner, these are really gonna be super handy. Next up is a book that I'm really excited for. Um, Good Pictures, Bad Pictures, it's been on my list for a while. As we know, the internet is not always a safe place and I was exposed to adult images at a very young age and it really messed up my brain. So we're gonna be talking about some things at a younger level. There's also an older book for when your kids are teenagers, preteens that you can go through with them. I don't see it in here. I'll definitely be linking these down below in this description box for you guys. So if you're interested, you can buy them. Again, not sponsored. The book is very simple, very well put together, and I think it'd be a great addition to any young homeschooling family. So definitely pick yours up. We'll be reading it during the school year. I did get a big purchase, which I've been putting this off for a while. Um, I got this printer. It's a smaller printer. One of my sweet friends did gift us one that they had that didn't really work out for them and unfortunately it didn't really work out for us. So I had to get a new one. I'm hoping this one works. It's a smaller, it's like a compact version of a printer. Kind of scared about the ink. My husband let me know after I purchased it that the ink can be expensive. So I should, probably should have researched that. It had really good reviews. So pray for me guys that this was a good investment. Otherwise, I'll have to do a follow-up video and review with you guys. And then the last thing I got, I'm actually really excited for. Um, as you know, we've used, I'll insert like a clip of it, this little plastic caddy for a while for like our school supplies and classroom stuff. And it's been, a, it's been great, but it's also kind of been a mess. So I got this one and we, as you guys know, we don't have a homeschool room. It's our kitchen table. So I got a little nicer version. That way we can leave it out when people come over and I won't feel as like, oh my gosh, I left the homeschool box out. It won't be as big of a deal. It's not a big deal, but this is less of a big deal. So I got this and I thought it was so cute. It also is like a Lazy Susan, so it spins around and I can just keep the cute 
their little school supplies in here and not have to worry about transferring it back and forth. So that is it for the Amazon haul. Um, I hope, again, I'll link everything in the description box below. I might insert some clips for you on how we're going to use it. Not sure yet, but thank you guys for watching this video. I love you. Be kind to one another and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.